What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be going over with you the 2023 R-Pod 202. The R-Pod 202 is our best seller for 2022 and they have made some major uh, design changes, interior, exterior colors, things like that that we're gonna go over with you today. So let's head on up to the front and check it out. Up front we have some stuff that stayed the same, no changes really up, up on, on the hitch portion. Power tongue jack, 20 pound LB tank, your battery disconnect, uh, your front windshield here on the front. We have been really, really happy with these front windshields. No issues with leaking or anything like that. They do open right up as well uh, from the inside and you can also drop the screen portion and have the screen as well. Heading over to the side, we do have our pass-through storage here. This goes all the way across the unit. Plenty of space in here uh, to fit lawn chairs, lumber, anything like you, that you need like that. Right next to that, we do have our hookups here. We have our fresh water connection, city water connection, and then fresh water drains right below those as well. Also, while we're standing here, uh, dry weight on this unit is 47.92, so under 5,000 pounds for an SUV. Uh, at that point, you know, if it's a 5,000 pound SUV, definitely recommend some uh, weight distribution hitching with that as well. And then traveling with water does play a factor, but just, just some ideas there for you. Our drain outlets are right here, gray and black handle, black tank flush right above that, all has stayed the same. One of the new things that has changed though with this R-Pod, if they have went to these golden rims on it. I first seen it come in and I thought well, they were dirty at first. And then after taking a closer look, I'm like, oh my goodness, they match those up right with the, the, the decals on the exterior to match the logo colors. So very impressed by those. I think they're super sharp looking, still nitrogen filled tires. Uh, as you can see from here, the actual graphics package has changed on this trailer completely. So this trailer here, you see the big uh, octagon up in the front, whereas before it was just all a hive style. You can actually can see right next to us on these trailers to our right here, these are still 22 models that have the older logo on them. So you can definitely see there's a major difference. I think the 2023s look a little bit maybe less busy is the best way to word it. Uh, on the back, we still have our backup camera prep, our spare. Uh, on this one, the refrigerator vent is there as well. And then a ladder to get up on them. Heading over to the passenger side here. They still gave us our outdoor kitchen in a very compact area. Again, my favorite thing that these companies have been doing. They condense this little outdoor kitchen down without wasting so much space inside your trailer. So this here comes right here, across here, pulls out to the side, flips up. And then we have an LP quick connect down here underneath the trailer with some outlets here. So your grill is underneath the bed on this one, pops right into here, you plug it in. You have a little sink here uh, for a drain. You pop that sink in here and then your shower port to wash stuff off into the sink. So mini outdoor kitchen that's all crammed in this little three by two area here. Really good space uh, usage by a Forest River R-Pod on this one in my opinion. Standing underneath the awning here, it is a good length awning. Um, obviously the R-Pods, the big thing with them is they do round, but this is one of the larger awnings that they offer. It is solid black on the top and the bottom, LED lights underneath the awning as well. They also kept the shiny glass black doors, got a lot of compliments on them. Everybody and their brother and sister wants to ask me, well, what if a rock hits it and they break? And I just respond with, well, I don't know, it hasn't happened yet. So we'll worry about it when it does, but so far they've held up really well though going down the road, no issues with them or a couple toy haulers that I have with the same thing. So walking into this unit is where it really changes. Obviously the graphics on the outside and the gold rims did change quite a bit, but our pod has really been famous for going with their really light white colors. This year they have went with this darker colored wood. Um, I've been really impressed by it. They went with like a dark wood uh, countertop here as well and then little gold accents again uh, on their sink. I think these little gold accents, maybe it's because I'm part of the younger generation, but I really do like them. They stick out to me. Great color scheme on them. The couch here as well, change colors. It was more of like a whitish color, like a almost like a tan more uh, than gray. It definitely has changed to a more gray pattern here. Nice thing with these, they do have their swivel, swivel trays for food. They do recline, these kick right up, and then it still jackknifes into a bed. So it's one of the only ones in the industry that I've actually seen on our lot that it both has the recline and the bed functionality with it. On the R pod here behind us heading back up to the kitchen area, you will see again, uh, they're doing the convection microwave, no oven on them again. A lot of customers say the same thing. I don't use the oven anyways. I'd rather have the microwave. Give me the extra cabinets up top. 
um, something a little bit easier for them to use. Also too, this glass here has changed a little bit as well. It does have a texture to it um, that's definitely different than it was last year. Just another little interior design change. You'll see here we have a couple stickers. So you have the option to add some tire monitoring systems and then also solar on board. So it is an option I still believe to add it. This trailer does have it. Uh, it is going to be a 30 amp controller and I believe it's a 200 watt or 190 watt panel up there on the ceiling or the roof. Right when you walk in here, there is a little bit of pantry storage because obviously those three cabinets up top won't store everything you need. So you do have this with the adjustable uh, drawers here so you can change those height in them and just take them all out if you want. And then down low as well. Heading over here to the front, we still have our TV and all of our hookups, um, our tank fill, our, our water heater, water pump, all of our lights, awning and slide controls all right there in one spot. Radio down below still is zoned indoor outdoor speakers on this trailer and then you have some little storage cubbies here You still get the fireplace, which is awesome for a little 25 foot trailer In the compartment here you have a little hanging rack up top here So you can hang some coats or shirts stuff like that. It actually goes over quite a bit more than the door You know seems it actually comes to about right here So definitely a lot deeper and wider than it actually appears from first glance down low here a couple of cabinets just for some books movies you know cds whatever you got there your breakers down here as well we have our max air come standard our control here uh and then your actual 30 amp controller is all right there for you as we head into the bathroom again very very clear you see that cabinetry color change the countertop change plenty of storage honestly towels drawers medicine cabinet that has the actual door on it plenty of storage here that is a pocket door system on this so this pocket door does slide over and it does shut heading over here we do have the shower miser on this so i'm not an expert with this but from what i understand it is a way to save your fresh water uh, when you are using fresh water so rather than kicking it all out and draining straight into the tank it has a system where it slows it down and the hot water will be pushed out saving you uh, your your water usage basically and not filling your tanks quite as fast and they don't have to go to bigger tanks on it ceiling fan in this as well again electric fan up into the bedroom here so we have a queen size bed with storage underneath here this has our tv our grill our central vac system which is still down here in the bathroom uh, we actually have the hoses with it now I, I don't believe that they were given us hoses in the past so um, maybe that's a new thing for 2023. I'm assuming they're going to be adding those in now. Storage here. They give you a couple throw pillows here that again match the unit with that dark gray gold uh, coloring. Cabinets on the side. And then if you turn around in the bedroom, there is a hookup here. Uh, a nice thing is it does have the spot to add a 12 volt for a 12 volt TV to run off battery. Power outlets, cable hookup, and then extra storage here on this. So. And honestly, the headspace in this thing is pretty good. I'm not the tallest guy. I'm only 5'8", five, 5'9", five, on a good day. So not a ton of room um, up here, but pretty good for your six foot guy. He's gonna be able to stand and move around. Really no issues there. So guys, that is a really good overview of the 2023 R-Pod 202. Very impressed by these color schemes that they have done. They've really changed them up a lot without, without taking away the things that people love. Colors usually aren't a huge deal for people as long as it looks sharp. So we, we've been very impressed with them and hoping that this trailer will continue to be our number one seller for our pod. Biggest sale point on this one, and it is the double axle. It's the only double axle uh, with the slide that our pod makes. So we are, we are extremely excited for that um, and this trailer here coming up this year. One couple last things to add here. This is a gas electric fridge on this one. They do still have the 12 volt option. Honestly, the 12 volt can be really, really nice uh, with the solar panel. And then also the tire pressure monitoring system here. I did find that in the fridge when I had opened it up. So that system here, you just put those on the tires and you can gauge your tires and how much pressure they have while you're driving. Um, so that way you know if you blow a tire or you're leaking air or anything like that, so. Hey guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. If you would, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Maybe you want a video on a camper or a video on how to do something. We got gotcha. you. Just let us know. And uh, with that, we'll see you on the next one.